Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a really awesome PC accessory that I recently picked up on Amazon. And this is coming to us from a company known as Turing. I've been messing around with this for the last couple days and it's really awesome. Basically what we have here is a sensor panel for a PC. You could also use this with a laptop, a mini PC, or if you wanted to get weird with it, you could kind of strap it to the side of your handheld. It actually works really well, and it's the easiest sensor panel that I've ever dealt with. Now, some people call this a stat display or a performance metrics display. It's really up to you, but it's going to give us all of our real-time information we need to know about our PC. CPU temps, GPU clock, CPU clock, our RAM usage. We could set up the time and date. You could even set up a live wallpaper in the background. But uh, before we jump any further into this, I do want to mention that this video is brought to you by URCD Keys. Now, I've actually been using this site for a long time now. They do offer PC games from Steam, Uplay, Ubisoft. They even offer Microsoft applications like Office. But the main reason that I use the site is for their Windows 10 Pro OEM keys. These are activation keys that you can pick up really cheap. And right now at checkout, if you use code ETA, you can get 30% off. And this 30% discount will be going on until the end of August. So with this discount, you can pick one of these Windows 10 Pro activation keys up for $15.58. And don't forget, you can use PayPal to check out on their website. I just did this build here. I need to activate Windows. I'm going to head over to my updates and security. We're going to go to activation. As you can see, I've got Windows 10 Pro, but it's not activated. So I'm going to change product key. I'm going to paste it in here. Choose next. Choose activate. And Windows is now activated. We're ready to go. My warning is totally gone, and basically that's it. They'll email your code once your payment is processed, and that's basically it. If you're interested in picking up cheap Windows 10 keys for your new PC builds, I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, so this company actually offers several different sizes when it comes to these sensor panels. I went with their relatively smaller version, 3.5 inch. Over on Amazon, it was under $40, and I didn't want to spend that much up front in case it didn't work out well but I'm actually gonna go back and get their larger panel because this does work way better than I thought it would. Inside of the box with the 3.5 inch version, we do get a little kickstand here in case you wanna set it on the desk or you could mount it inside of your PC. I think it looks really good there. We also get our USB type C cable and of course we get the panel itself. This is the black version. They also offer a white version and it does have a metal frame around it. Makes it pretty easy for mounting it up. This connects to your PC using USB, and this 3.5-inch version has two USB Type-C ports on it. So uh, we don't need any kind of crazy wiring or an extra HDMI port or anything like that to get one of these little stat displays to work. And the USB Type-C cable it comes with, you know, works great, but I wanted one that I could hide a bit easier. So I went with one of these ribbon-type cables. These are like under $8, I think. Uh, it's got a 90-degree USB Type-C on one end. You can basically get these in any kind of configuration. You can get a longer cable, shorter cable, but this is going to make it a lot easier to kind of hide this. But keep in mind, their 5.5-inch version actually has USB on the rear of the unit, so if you do have it inside of a PC case, it's going to be a lot easier to hide everything. And you can actually pick these up really easily over on Amazon. I got this 3.5-inch version, but they also have the 5-inch version, and this one does have that USB connection on the rear, so it would make it really easy to put it inside of a case. And if you want something a bit larger, they have an 8.8 inch elongated version. This would be great for a nice custom PC build. And that's really the big reason I wanted to get my hands on one of these, at least just to test it, because I've got a big PC build coming up and I will be utilizing one of these. But I'd say, you know, the main reason I actually really like these displays is the ease of use. I've got it plugged in here to my Menace Forum UM790. It's just plugged into one of the rear USB ports. We've got Windows 11 running. And in the past, trying to get one of these sensor panels up and running has really been a headache, at least for me, using IDA64. But this actually utilizes its own easy-to-use proprietary software. So basically, you're going to download their package, plug everything in, click Run, and now we've got our stats displayed on that external screen. It's fully customizable. There are a bunch of themes built in to the software. So, you know, if you want to use something they already have, that's not a problem. It's got a theme editor built in, so you can make your own themes, and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing for my upcoming build. We can also adjust the brightness directly from the software, and we'll just swap over to another theme. Now, this mini PC has a uh, 7940HS CPU. I've set it up, so now we have the 7940HS listed here. We've got our CPU usage, CPU temp, clocks, GPU usage, 
all the great stuff you need to know, something like Afterburner running on your built-in screen is right here on this external display. And again, setup is super easy. Basically, you're going to head over to the website listed on the screen once you plug it in, download, and you're going to find your screen size here. We've got the 3.5 inch screen, so we're going to go with the English version. Once we have that downloaded and extracted, we can actually start the application up right here. And again, you can set this up to auto start. Lots of customizations here. We've got a bunch of themes that we can actually choose from right off the bat. And if you head back over to the uh, forum, there's a theme share section where you can download different themes made by the community. Let's go ahead and load one up. Uh, we'll just go with magic blue again. You're going to choose run and it's going to show up on your screen. Now we've got an image here it shows us how it's going to look and everything like that. With these pre-made themes, we can customize the user defined language on screen. So this was meant for a 9900K. We can go ahead and swap this out for something else. It's really up to you. Let's do 7950X. So now we've got it listed as the 7950X. Everything's in place here, but I think the coolest thing here is the theme editor. We can make our own theme and you can actually just use uh, one of the pre-made themes as a template if you want to. In a few days on the channel, I'm going to be doing a full Starfield PC build. I'm really excited about the game. So I kind of wanted to add one of these screens. I think I'm going to go with the larger 5.5 inch and I'm working on kind of a Starfield theme here. So let's go ahead and load that up. As you can see, got kind of that Starfield coloring going on and we can add whatever we want here. So for instance, CPU, let's do a uh, CPU load. We can show, and then we can move this around. We can also change the size of it. We can change the color. We can place these elements anywhere on screen. Once you're done, obviously you're going to save the theme and you can load it right up. But yeah, I think it's pretty intuitive software. It could definitely use a little work, but it's the easiest one I found with these uh, performance metric screens for your PC. And this is something I could definitely recommend. Now, obviously, not a lot of people are going to be strapping this to a handheld, but I did want to test it out. I've got it on the ROG Ally, and yeah, I mean, it works with it. It's not great. It does show us the stats, but, you know, we've got an extra screen hanging off the back of this thing. Really, this is meant for your PC builds. You can place it inside of a really nice looking case. It's got that brightness control, so you can actually see it through tempered glass if you need to. And you can have this display up and running in about 60 seconds. So, yeah, I really do like it. I will be integrating this into a future build, so definitely keep an eye on the channel. And if you're interested in learning a little more about the 3.5 inch, that 5 inch, or even the larger models they have, I'll leave some links to Amazon down below. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.